Jay here, hanging out at the Young Hollywood studio with Thomas Jane from HBO's Hung. So when you first heard the title of the show and what it was about, what, what went through your mind when they told you the concept uh, of Hung? It, it was uh, kind of obvious, you know, what, what it was, it, it kind of like made me feel like, ah, this is another kind of dumb show about a guy with a big <laughs> um, Did you think there'd be posters all over town though that would actually say ho and then have your face all over it? That was funny, you know. I, uh, my daughter, I have a seven-year-old daughter, she asked me like, uh, you know, uh, what, 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 is, what does that mean, you know? Unfortunately, there's three of them around my house. I said, ho, 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 honey, it's Santa Claus. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice way to put a spin on it. <laughs> and now you can say you're doing a film with Miley Cyrus. She must be loving that, though. She's I mean, loving everyone that. loves Miley. I'm going to play Miley's uh, father, uh, with Big Shoes to Fill, yeah. in, in, uh, in a great film called LOL. Has your daughter got you up to speed on like all the pop Are you culture me? knowledge? The whole reason I'm all the doing Hannah the Montana movie world? is because of her. I'm not doing the movie for any other reason. It's because she wants to meet Miley Cyrus. So I'm doing a movie. And, That's uh, a good father over here doing she, that, doing yeah, that for the kid. And she flies out uh, next week and hangs out with us for a couple of days on set. You know, she's a set baby, so she knows how to how to roll on the set. And yes. and we'll I guess hang out with Miley Cyrus. I hope to God she's a nice girl. Sure, she will be. I'm How about Comic Con now? That that recently wrapped yeah, up. Yeah, were you guys down there? We weren't there this year, but we've been there. But you've been there yeah. a lot, so I'm curious Look, like the evolution I, I gotta, of Comic Con has changed I, over the years. Yeah, it will. It's just gotten. It's just mushroomed into a into a nuclear explosion down in San Diego. That's so how would you say it was like God four or five knows. years ago, and, and what it was like this year? Well, you know what? Uh, four or five years ago was when I first started my booth. Um, I had a booth called Raw Studios, and I got, got my his own, own comic book line over here. Yeah, I got Bad know. Planet and Alien Pig Farm three thousand that David Gordon Green's going to oh, turn got, into you, a movie. You got to repeat that one one more time. Alien Pig Farm three thousand. Like why? Come how? <laughs> how well, now you, you just woke up and said it's an alien pig farm. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, once that idea hits you, it doesn't go away. Right. You know, Alien Pig Farm 3000, it's rednecks versus aliens. Get them aliens away from my pigs! David Gordon Green, uh, director of Pineapple Express, he's turning it into a movie. So, excited about that. And the other one that I wrote is called Bad Planet. Epic, uh, apocalypto uh, madness with 12-legged uh, alien death spiders. Wow. Really fun stuff. Wait, having can, a blast. Can we talk about your life really quick? I mean, okay. starring in an HBO series, and you're getting nominations, Golden Globes, you're okay. doing a Miley Cyrus movie, and you're writing comic books. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think, like, this is what I was going to do when I grew up? I didn't quite have it in that order. You know, I thought I, I wanted to be a comic book artist oh. when I was a kid. Are you doing some drawings? For, I couldn't for your stay at my yeah. I, I did I had all kinds of art, and I, but I found that I couldn't hang out at my desk long enough to 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 make anything you know worthwhile. I was just too busy chasing girls and getting you know I getting dirty and playing football. And so the acting thing hit me you know in my uh, mid teens, and I've been at it ever since. Nice. Right, so the last thing we want to know is. You know, we always like advice for people out there in Young Hollywood, and you're a guy that's yeah. been doing this a long time. You, yeah. you just said, you started in your mid-teens. Yeah, my mid-teens. You've done huge action films, you've done yeah. big TV series. Like, yeah. how does someone just, you know, stay there and just keep focused and, and keep the drive until they actually make it? Keep the drive. Keep the drive alive. You've got to have something that feeds your passion. You've got to have something that makes it worthwhile. And whether that's a uh, dinner theater, or, or if, like what I used to do is be a black, we call it black box theater in LA. If you're young and you've got no real commitments, man, we'd be out till four in the morning building sets and rehearsing and, keep, and, and nobody's getting paid anything, you know, but just keep the dream alive any way you can. Because if you're passionate about it and if, if you have lust for what you do, and you'll make it happen in some way, shape or form, you will make your passion happen. If you have a job, that gets in the way of your passion, quit. It, so it sounds harder than it really is.